going to start a fillet here. Let's see which way do I want to go. I want to try pushing this time. Seems to be working okay. Hmm. Okay. Somebody was telling me a little secret of dipping the ball in alcohol. That helps quite a bit. try to save this. Perfect. Okay. Get my smaller knife here. Go along here. Oops. Be careful, this is still <laughs> soft. Okay. That's a wiener. touch it. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Okay. Got the two inch glass on. Got the um, fillet material around the edges. And I'm going to let it cure. I'll let it, let it, I'll put the uh, three inch cloth on t tomorrow. <laughs> well, I come back after dinner. I wanted to get this done tonight. It's about getting close to 8 o'clock. As you can see, I've switched up from yellow to blue. I'm trying to get this edge here, this seam will be always exposed. So I'm trying to get it as perfect as possible. Some of it will get fixed if there's any minor uh, undulations in the surface. Uh, it will get fixed as I'm uh, applying 
an epoxy down the side. When I do the skim coat of epoxy, a lot of these little, any of these little uh, spots that don't get, if I get a streak or something. And we'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to put the three inch tape on tonight, but I think I'm going to let that cure. I'll come back tomorrow after NASCAR and Talladega is over with and uh, sand this down. That'll be fully cured. I'll give this a sand and then I can go ahead and put the three inch on and then I can probably go ahead and put on the first skim coat. Put another uh, coat on this, a weave fill and then do the first coat on the sides and then see how that looks. So we'll be back. And I want to say that uh, I've got to find out who the guy was online that was gave me that hint of using, dipping the ball in alcohol. That really made, I mean, that was, that was a killer idea. I'm going to thank you and I'll give, see if I can look you up your name and give you full credit for that. But that, was, that really makes a big difference uh, once you got them um, the fillets in place and then dip the ball in alcohol uh, just some plain old rubbing alcohol isopropyl and just drag it along and it's just perfect just gives it a perfect finish so we'll come back well I've got the other three inch cloth put on now I just put the other one on <laughs> it's, it's a race well, well I have enough uh, epoxy to do this I thought I had plenty, but I went through it on that uh, on the wet out more than I thought. And I've got the uh, side sanded down too, so I was wanting to get that done today so I could. Access to the ends. Okay. Be sure it's centered. And we'll come out and start a little bit in the middle. Should be in watching the Talladega race today. But it's kind of like NBA basketball, the excitement's at the end. <laughs> they should have more shorter races. I took my toothbrush and painted on some epoxy on the side. I've already got this scraped down. I'm working on the other side now, but I'm just going along and putting a layer of epoxy on the uh, bearing compound. That'll give me a, something more to sand on.
I don't have enough uh, epoxy to uh, do the skin coat, so I'm going to have to let this cure and then give everything a light sanding and then do a 100% cure. So we Well, as you can see, we're starting around on the final finish work. I've been sanding. I was wanting to get the uh, weave fill on Sunday, but I couldn't get everything done in time. And the, uh, the blue fairing uh, hadn't cured up yet. It was just too cold in the barn. But now it's nice and hard, and uh, I'm not getting any. This was uh, the sandpaper on the day afterward. I was just building up. It just wasn't cured right. But I didn't ruin it, thank God. Uh, but now uh, I'm going to sand it down. I've been sanding the bottom, as you see. Uh, I got my sander out and uh, got my mask on too, and the uh, my Jet Beat 1000 is going, sucking the dust out of the air. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this off on the sanding, and I'm going to sand the edge really well again too, where the, the blue is down in here. I'm going to get this really smooth. And it came out, I really can't feel any transition between the edge of the tape here and, and where it goes out to the wood. It, that came out really well with those two layers, the first natural color and the second one with blue to so differentiate it from the, the yellow. So it came out well. And the uh, this came out great and nice and smooth. And I don't have any puckers or bubbles anywhere. And uh, so that's part. Uh, now the thing I'm going to do, and I decided this morning, is I'm, uh, I have access to some of the high-tech, fancy, expensive stuff, but I'm going to, mainly because of the color I want to use on this, uh, I'm going to use my uh, Rust-Oleum Ultra Covers uh, that you can probably, I know I can get it at my Do-It Center, and I think the Do-It Centers are around the country, but any place that would carry a good quality paint should have the Rust-Oleum Ultra Color. And I had good luck with color tinting, like the white, the basic flat white. I'm going to get gloss white this time, and I'm going to have my friendly little gal Sarah that the, my local Johnsons do it, uh, tint it up with uh, some colors. And I don't know if this is going to come in well or not. That was one of my first choices, and then. This was another choice, and then another tealy looking one, and then a kind of a robin's egg blue. So uh, I should have done this on one of my other ones there to have you. I'll, I'll do this again. So if you have a preference, uh, you know, you think I'm uh, leave it in the comments. So um, uh, we'll get me go on to sanding and finish this up and clean everything up. And then I want to get some wee filling and I want to do some other trick stuff with, with some pigment paste in the uh, epoxy to give it a, a color and I'll explain why later when I'm doing it.